In 12th December 2023, I purchased a 100k account with the profits I had made in one of my funded accounts. This was the biggest account that I had ever purchased in my trading career till yet. So naturally, I had bigger expectations from this account. I was very energized to start this account and had all those compounding plans in my head. But after trading this account for a month, I ended up losing the account. Having learned a lot of lessons from this failed challenge, I attempted to purchase another 50k account around mid-January with SWIFT funding. This account is not going as planned. I lost 4 back-to-back -back trades in the month of January where most of my pairs ended up consolidating and by the end of Jan, this account was sitting at a loss of minus 5%. February was a better month and I ended up recovering all the losses I had and currently as Feb ends, the account is sitting at a minimal loss of minus 1%. So I invite you on this journey from taking this account from minus 5% to potentially passing this account as our end goal. Trust me, it's going to be fun both recording and watching how I trade this account from here on. I will also be doing a breakdown of all the trades that I take along the way and explain the reasoning behind why I took it. And now for those wondering the risk I'm going to use in this account, I'm not going to use a static risk. Currently, I'm going to use 1.5% per trade, but once my account goes back in profits, I might increase the risk depending on the setup and other parameters I use in my trading plan. With that being said, let's see if we can get any trading opportunities this week. All right, guys. So this is the first trade that we just entered in the 50k challenge account risking 1.5%. So let me tell you the rationale behind this trade. First of all, we have a beautiful resistance in here. Some traders will call it supply zone. I like to call it a resistance zone in here, which perfectly aligns with 191 psychological level. And then most importantly, my most important confluence in here was that we had liquidity at this level. So what does this mean is that those traders who were selling the markets from here had their stop losses in here. Now that price has taken their stop losses out, I do expect a move towards the downside. Though the overall trend of the market is towards the upside, but I do think that we can have a strong correction from this level. So when I observed this VIX in the four hourly zone, I saw price exhausting in here. And then I scaled down to the one hourly where I saw this beautiful consolidation break. I entered right after the break of the consolidation with my stops above the highs. And I'm targeting 2.5 RR on this trade, though I will be very mindful of this level because I do think that we have liquidity in here as well and price might reverse from here. So we'll keep this level in mind and I'll update you guys on how this trade turns out to be. So guys, this is an update on the trade that we took two days ago in GBP JPY. As you can see, price has absolutely came down and it has came down to an extent to which I myself was not expecting. What I thought was that price might come over here and then go back up, but it's just a humongous drop. Though we were not able to capitalize on this move because we entered the trade somewhere over here, over here with this candle breaking the consolidation. And I had my stop loss above this wick for 30 pips. And then when price created this lower high and then it dropped, what I did was that I moved my stop loss above this high. So instead of 30 pips, I moved my stop loss for around 20 pips, something like that. And then price came and tagged me out. Though it did not hit our stop loss and then it completely reversed in the opposite direction. But I doubt if we would have our stop loss at 30 pips, still it might would have hit our stop loss because of the slippage and all that kind of thing. But it's all right, we ended up losing around 1% on this trade. 
since we risked 1.5% and it was not a full loss. And if I show you the trade that we took over here, as you can see, GBP, JPY, sell, the entry was at 190.75. Boom, over here, 190.75. Here was our entry with 30 pips of stop loss. And as you can see, the total PNL is minus $400. So I ended up losing around 0.80% uh, on this trade. And currently our equity is sitting at 2% loss from the initial balance. Obviously seeing price drop this much, which would have been a potential profits of let's say one is to seven, was markets absolutely reversed from this level, which is just insane over here. So it shows that our direction was right. Our trade management could have been better. So we journal this trade and learn from it. Obviously, I, I would not be able to capitalize on this whole one is to seven, but at least I could have made this one is to 2.5 and my account would have been back in profits. So it's all right, we learn and we move forward. We journal this trade and hopefully we don't repeat any same mistakes like that. And this just shows what trading really is. You can have, there are many times when price creates a lower high and when it comes and stop, stops this position, it absolutely goes towards the upside. But this time it did not happen and that is what the probability of the game is. So it's the end of the week and we just took one trade this week. We exited the trade before it hit our full stop loss, leading to a total loss of 1%. And currently the account is sitting at an overall loss of minus 2%. Hopefully we can turn this around in the next week and I'll catch you guys in the next week with an update on this challenge. Till then, take care.